The vast majority of people, including healthcare professionals, are unaware of the negative impact of mouth breathing on normal facial growth and general health of kids and adults. Generally, nose breathing is normal and physiological. Nose filters out particles that enter the body, humidifies the air we breathe, and warms it to body temperature. In contrast, however mouth breathing pulls all pollution and germs directly into the lungs, dry cold air in the lungs makes the secretions thick, slows the cleaning cilia, and slows down the passage of oxygen into the bloodstream. Mouth breathers have following signs and symptoms. Dry mouth, snoring, bad breath, hoarseness, brain fog, feeling tired and irritable when you wake up. Visually, especially in kids, a long face, an open bite, a high narrow palate, or gingivitis, inflammation of the gum. Narrow faces, narrow mouths, high palatal vaults, dental malocclusion, gummy smiles, and many other unattractive facial features, such as skeletal class 2 or class 3 facial profiles. Many mouth breather children exhibit a significant increase in lower incisor proclination, lip incompetency and convex facial profile. And mouth breathing is more prominent at night, during sleeping. Many of these kids cannot sleep well at night due to mouth breathing and obstructed airways. Lack of sleep has direct adverse effects on growth, academic performance, and sometimes it can be misdiagnosed as attention deficit disorder and hyperactivity. The most common cause of mouth breathing is nasal congestion and enlarged adenoids. Other causes include nasal allergies, more rare causes include nasal polyps, which are growths of tissue in the lining of your nose. Genetical diseases. We can avoid such negative effect on facial and dental development if mouth breathing will be treated early in kids. Treatment is treatment of underlying conditions. For example, if mouth breathing is caused by nasal congestion, because of allergy, then allergy medication. If it caused by sleep apnea, in many cases weight loss and exercise is the treatment. Practice breathing in and out through your nose. If adenoid hypertrophy is presented, then adenoidectomy is the treatment.